for train for Titajar wagon has been on the upside for quite some time. Uh, the stock is over, but no doubt, but there is no slowdown in momentum yet. So I'm going to play with the trend. The trend is strong in this kind of a market. I think the stock should cross around that 135 level on the upside as long as the low around uh, 120 is protected. So it looks like a very strong momentum stock right now. Uh, see, the stock has a tube investment. The previous high that we have seen in the stock was in somewhere around January. That has been broken today. So I think the rally will continue from here on. I do not rule out dips. So use dips towards the level of 2030 as a buying opportunity, keeping a stop loss of 1950 on the downside. And then positionally, we are expecting a target of 2300. So that can be tube investment. I think momentum is intact. Use dips to buy this stock. Yes, absolutely, and the monsoon in Mumbai is very bad, so <laughs> I'm sure the demand is going to be rising for Bata, we can clearly see on the stock price, and uh, I, uh, the stock has uh, found a very important lows around 1740 and bounced back sharply from there, I think it is headed towards 1950 levels on the upside, so one can create long positions in this stock, maintaining a stop loss of 1780 on the downside, so positionally the stock looks good, it should outperform from the year on as well. See, Atul Limited has a very strong support around uh, that 8180 level. It gave a false break below that, trapped the bears and now it's uh, covering on the upside. So I think there is going to be a lot of short covering that we can expect in this stock which can drive it higher towards the level of 9000. We are seeing a very strong rise today up by 4%. Yes, uh, see, ICSA Bank has given a very strong rise. In fact, it has retraced back the last fall in very faster time which indicates the price and time reversal both together. And we, it's not very often to see that in the large cap space in this kind of a market. So overall looking like it, uh, it's an outperformer, relative outperformer. If you check the relative ratio, it is outperforming definitely the banking index also. So it's a buy and I think use dips to buy, not at CMB. Maybe a little dip from here if you get it around 755, use that as a buying opportunity. Maintain a stop loss of 740 and expecting a target of around 800, 810. Now getting above that 865, which is the 52 week high, is going to be little challenging. But let's see if it gets to the first target of around 820 levels. Monthly. Yes, we are, uh, uh, see if you look at the moving average crossover technique, we can clearly see the 10 days is about to cross about the 20 day one. And we are seeing some momentum building up in this stock from here on as well. So there is a possibility it's breaking out about the previous sub resistance of 3150, it's about that. So we can expect it to go towards 3350 levels on the upside. And the support for this stock is at 3100. So as long as 3100 is intact, I will be expecting a good pullback on the upside in this stock.